Hello, and welcome to Crypto Exposed. So, feeling down about XRP price? I understand. But, I actually did a video about something similar here, not long ago, is actually when the Hinman emails were released. And I basically explained as to why, when the Hinman emails came out, why similar activity happened. So I'm actually going to break this down right now just so you guys can get a bit of reassurance here because I'm sure a lot of you guys are feeling very underwhelmed by the activity of XRP overall. Now that's not to downplay what happened because let's not get it mistaken here at all. XRP like nearly doubled in price or doubled in price. So that's still very good price action in a day. But I'm sure a lot of you guys were expecting way higher figures. And look, I'll be honest with you guys, I'm human. I did too. I was hoping it was going to go much higher than what it did however i will say this i was always thinking that this is more of a long-term play than just an immediate price action jump but even for the immediate price action i did think it would be higher but the reason why i can look back now and not be really phased by this is because one i actually already see the long-term outset for what this is going to do for ripple and xrp and two I've already covered this before as to what happened and I'm very confident this is why the price has started to drop and retrace, okay? So let's just get into this and I can discuss this further with you guys. So I did a video, as I say, not long ago when the Hinman emails dropped and we had a very similar thing, right? The Hinman emails dropped, everything was looking good, the price was going up because of how bad the SEC looked due to the Hinman emails and then suddenly there was a plummet in price, right? So again, we've kind of got not as bad, but a similar thing here, right? Ripple have essentially won the lawsuit. Yes, they have got to have to pay a fine from the looks of it, but the main thing is that XRP is not a security. So they've won where it counts. That's all that matters, right? We see the price blasting off. It's doing great. Doing good, doing good. Starts to stagnate a little bit, you know, consolidate. And now it's starting to drop down, retrace a little bit. And now it's again consolidating, right? Okay, so let's get into this as to why I believe this is happening. First and foremost, you can speak to a lot of chart analysts who talk about these kind of things. And it's very common that when prices have such explosive upwards price movements, they will retrace. That's healthy. It's just a healthy correction to balance out all the hype. That's just natural. Okay, so that's just one thing I'll throw in there. But let me get into this because a similar thing happened around the time with the Hinman emails and it's very similar to what's going on right now. And I believe it's the exact same scenario playing out. OK, so if I just take you to this article here, I'm just going to read the headline. I'm not going to get into the details of it because you get the gist. 1.1 billion XRP recently brought by Wales. Here's what's happening. OK, now this was six days ago, right? This article was brought out on the 9th of July. OK, so. Think about this. You've got whales who've brought 1.1 billion XRP. That's a lot of XRP. Clearly, they've got big money to be buying those kind of amounts, okay? Right. XRP, the great news comes out, yeah? And it damn near doubles in price or doubles in price, yeah? Well, think about this. If you're a whale and you've got 1.1 billion XRP, now I'm not saying this is just one whale. This could be, you know, numerous whales who've all collected together or whatever like they're all personally collecting their amounts if you've got let's just say millions worth of xrp and it's just doubled in value look at how much profit you're sitting on right there right what you've got to understand is a lot of us people who aren't whales for us to get to the point where we're happy to sell the prices have to get a lot higher for us to get the the life-changing wealth right whereas if a whale let's just say buys 2 million XRP, well, they've just made a million within a few days. They've just made a million. They've doubled their money within a few days. So of course they're going to take profits, right? And I said this would happen. I said, even if we win the lawsuit, people are going to take profits. There's going to be people who've been holding on to XRP for years. So even if they've been accumulating at like the 30 cent region, maybe even the 20 cent region, you know, 40 cent region, they're seeing this kind of uptick going on and people are just taking profits, right? People are selling. And when you've got whale selling as well, that's big amounts. So of course that's going to have an effect on the price. So I think you've just got to understand here that 
This isn't necessarily a bad thing and it was to be expected. Wales brought in just before the decision came out and yeah, I'm, I'm assuming they're just reaping the benefits here. So of course that's going to have made an impact. So look, as I say, would I have liked it to have gone a little bit higher? Yeah, I'm not saying I wanted it to just shoot up to $20. Even being conservative, I was thinking, okay, maybe they'll go up to like the $1 or $2 region at first and then slowly start to scale up. So it didn't quite hit that, but it was only just under a dollar to be fair. So yeah, a little, little bit under what I would have expected. But hey, look, I'm not a chart analyst. Nobody really knew. It was all given our best predictions based on the research that we had. And yeah, it is a little bit lower than what we'd have expected. But this is what you've got to understand at this point. That all happened in a day. Okay, right. And what you've got to understand now is the floodgates are open. Americans can now buy XRP again. All of the exchanges have relisted XRP. And institutions can now get involved with XRP. So any bank in America that was interested in working with Ripple, interested in ODL, etc, etc, they're happy to go and work with them now. XRP is the only token with legal clarity. Let me repeat that. XRP is the only token with legal clarity. And it has utility. So what do you think that means now? Even if you're a developer and if you've been watching how Gary Gensler has been going on calling all these cryptocurrency securities and things like that, if you're concerned that he's going to be like trying to throw more lawsuits out at random cryptocurrencies whenever he pleases, what's going to be the thing that you'd be thinking? Let me go to the safe bet, XRP, it's already got the legal clarity. I'm not going to worry about this again, right? So. The thing for me is, okay, yes, let's say it hasn't just shot straight up, but look, this could pan out over the next month or so. It, it doesn't mean that it's not going to reach $5, $10 or whatever. It just means that it might take a bit more time. It just didn't happen on the first day. So I think you've got to just still be a little bit more patient because yes, okay, it wasn't the huge blast stuff that you'd hope for, but it still did blast off. Let's make no mistake about that. If you look at the chart, it was definitely a blast off. Okay. And now the gates are open for XRP. So I really do feel confident overall that this is really is going to be good for XRP. I'm really not phased in terms of thinking, oh no, is this me and XRP is not going to go nowhere. No, it may take a little bit longer than I might anticipate, but that's fine. The thing is, is we're in the clear now. We are smooth sailing. We haven't got to go through any more worries, uncertainty. We're here now. Other crypto firms can't say that for their cryptocurrencies. They're all pretty much at risk at the moment. Now, don't get me wrong. Thanks to Ripple, they've definitely helped set a president. So well done to Ripple and to the crypto community. You are very welcome. But still, it doesn't mean that they can't still try and sue people. And this is the thing. Even if these crypto firms win, just look at how draining this lawsuit was, how long it dragged on for, everything we had to go through, even when we could see how blatantly obvious the SEC were wrong. We still had to endure the whole thing and it's grueling and it has an effect on price. And of course it stifled the price and the innovation. So it, it, it doesn't even matter if they win in the end or not, the damage does get done. Ripple has been damaged by this and XRP. Because I do believe the price will be much higher if this hadn't have happened. So the effects are still there. But at least now we've gone through it and we're the only cryptocurrency now that can continue to move forward with no concerns. So this is where developers who may be considering what networks to choose. XRP may be the choice for them. Because it's the safe haven. Right? So overall, guys, in regards to this, I, I wouldn't be too phased. Yes, it could have been better. I'm a little bit underwhelmed myself. I'm human. I'm not going to lie. I would have loved it to be the fairy tale. Oh my God, it just flew up to five to ten dollars in one day. This is incredible. Of course, I would have loved that like everybody else. However, when I sit back and think about it, really, I look and think, OK, the price did rally. So that's great. And now the stage is set. And Ripple can continue to do business and XRB can continue to thrive. The developers can continue to innovate and people can now come to XRP. People who were uncertain 
waiting for the decision of the lawsuit. You saw it straight away with the exchanges. Immediately, they all started releasing XRP. So think about all these companies who may have been sitting on the sidelines, just waiting for the outcome. They can all start having the talks now. So you may see adoption on a mass scale at this point. So overall, I think this is great. I really do. We got what we needed, guys. So this is where we can just sit back now and watch it all unfold. The worries are gone. So overall, don't get concerned with this. It's, it's really not that bad. Maybe a little bump in the road if you want to call it that. But overall, I think XRP has got a very bright future ahead of itself now. I really do. There's nothing stopping it at this point. But what do you guys think? Were you underwhelmed by the uh, price action of XRP? Or was you actually happy with it? Was you satisfied? I mean, look, if, if some guys had got in when it was at the bottom, you'd have made double your profit. So if you'd have maybe put, let's just say, $5,000 in, you could have made $10,000. That's, that's still great price. That's still great profit. Right? So let's not, let's not undervalue that because that was still amazing. And if you had enough money to put in, that still would have been great. But yeah, what do you guys think? Was you happy with the price action? Was you unhappy with it? How are you feeling? Are you deflated as an XRP investor? Or are you feeling a lot more optimistic now that the lawsuit's done? Do you think that this is going to be great for XRP? Or do you not really think it's going to have the impact that we really thought it would have had now because of the price? Let me know your thoughts, guys. I'd be interested to hear. Thank you very much for watching this. If you did like it, please remember to drop a comment, like, and subscribe. But until next time, take care.